Do you think AI robot pets will replace real pets? Or your smartphone will start walking all of a sudden? Hi, my name is Dr. Robot, a PhD in surgical robotics, and this is Robot Club, a show where we review the latest development in the field of robotics and AI. In this episode, we review seven robotics projects published in the past two weeks. In one of these projects, you will see how real dogs react to a social robot, which should be fun to watch, so stay tuned. So our first project is an AI pet robot by Vanguard Industries, a startup in Tokyo, Japan, which is currently running a crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter. The robot name is Mufflin. Mufflin is an AI pet robot that has emotional capabilities that evolves like a living animal. This robot pet has soft fur, cute voice, and can do adorable movement. This robot is just like a real animal and so lovely that you'd want to hold and pat forever. Mufflin can learn and grow by constantly using its interaction with her owner and her surrounding environment. As a result, this AI robot pet can develop its own unique personality and it's so realistic that it's like you're interacting with a living pet. Now let's go to Germany and learn about the latest work on robotics and AI. This project features a beautiful flying robot bird developed by robotics and AI engineers at Festo. These feathery bionic robot birds are called Bionic Swim. Each robot bird weighs about 42 grams, of which 6 grams is a battery. One motor controls the wing flapping and two motors actuate the flight surfaces for its steering. Flight time is 7 minutes with one battery charge. A flock of 5 robot birds can move in a coordinated and autonomous manner in a defined room by interacting with an indoor GPS. Our next project is a biopedal robot that walks just like a human being. This is the work of one of the masterminds of the humanoid robots, Mr. Masahiko Yamaguchi aka Dr. Guero, a genius Japanese roboticist and AI hacker. For this project, he modified a commercially available hobby robot to build a robot that can walk naturally just like a human being. For a small humanoid robot to be able to walk naturally with the knees straight is perhaps first in the world. Our next project is an interesting robot developed by roboticists from the Biorobotics Lab at Seoul National University in South Korea. So don't be surprised if your smartphone got hacked and it started walking away from you. Well, it may happen in the future, but the aim of this project was to add little robotics legs to your smartphone case to give it the ability to skid it around autonomously. One application these robotics engineers designed this for was for your phone to walk to the charging pad on its own when it's running out of juice. The technology inside is quite amazing. The legs can retract all the way flat while supporting a relatively heavy weight. The legs work similar to your legs in that there is a knee joint that can only bend one way. This robot case is lightweight but quite powerful. The robot legs without the case weighs about 23 grams and is able to crawl at a speed of 21 centimeters per second. This robot case can carry a payload of over 300 grams which is more than 13 times its body weight. Next is a study conducted by researchers at Yale University. The goal of this study was to find out if dogs will interact with the social robot. In their experiment, the robot called the dog's name and asked them to sit. The interesting part of this study was when they repeated the experiment with a human voice through a loudspeaker instead of the social robot. Who do you think the dogs listen to more often? The social robot or the human voice? Let's find out. Okay. Next, we have Black Warrior 2, a humanoid robot which you may know from a Japanese robot fight competition called Robo One. Now, let's watch its new moves. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 
And finally, we have Pepper Robot by SoftBank, a Japanese firm who bought Boston Dynamics from Google a few years ago. As you may know, in many countries, including European countries, anyone 11 plus years of age must wear a mask in closed public places. To support businesses, SoftBank Robotics Europe recently unveiled a new feature with the Pepper Robot called AI Face Mask Detection. Let's see how it works. Good morning. I think one of you is not wearing a mask. Please make sure to take a mask from the table. Thank you. Be safe. Please wear a mask. This was another episode of the Robot Club Show. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next episode.